This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I woke up late this morning, and I've seen Waking Life, an animated docufiction fantasy sort of deal from Richard Linklater made back in 2001. It's primarily non-narrative, structured more around monologues and conversations with and from a variety of people, but there is a protagonist of a sort who we do follow. He initially hops off a bus and hitches a ride from one of these conversationalists before getting off at an unknown street and getting hit by a car, waking up in his bed from a dream. Soon enough, he finds that he is still in fact dreaming, and even when he wakes up again, the dream goes on. The people that he meets and watches do have many interesting things to say, but it all leads him to have to consider the possibility that he might be dead, and that death is simply an eternal dream he can't awaken from. That might make the movie seem a bit extreme, but it's a subject which isn't really looked into all too much until near the end of the film. The concept of dreams and death and the potential connection between the two is given its time, especially when it comes to the very process of dreaming and what dreams offer us which the waking world finds impossible. Before this point though, there are a number of unnamed characters being met in the individual scenes. Each person or group that we meet has some idea to share or a topic to discuss, whether it be with the lead character or in conversation with someone else, and what they talk about ranges drastically from language to existentialism, or from rants about personal freedoms and liberty to dialogues about psychic connections and crossword puzzles. It's a bit similar to Slacker, another movie from Richard Linklater, but where that movie had segues between its vignettes, which made it a cross-section of a community, things are a bit more scattered here, since it all exists within a dream where things start and stop without any notice, and it isn't until the main character realizes that he's dreaming that the film's topics also turn towards that central idea. I personally think that it works out, but with the complexity of everything being shared at times, and how quickly they come and go, it can easily become a confusing experience. It may or may not help how naturally the speakers make their arguments, since the trade-off for this realism is a quick-paced experience that has moments of wit and many points to make, but might only make as much sense as one can get from a single viewing. Which is to say, there's a reason to watch the movie more than once. Actually, there's at least one other reason to watch it twice, and it's the entire visual design and the animation choices being made. It's entirely a rotoscoping job, hiding any sort of filmed reality, and leaving it to animators to illustrate the scenes any way they wish. This is something that they clearly ran with, given how varied the imagery can be, from a general strive for realism to something truly unique and dreamlike, whether it be a person drawn with accurate colors and shading, or rendered as a rubbery and fluid being, or in one case, a monkey. Background elements are equally treated with a personalized touch, from illustrating what a person is saying to acting as a visual gag for those paying attention. Naturally, both might come together in their own way, but it again all serves more as a stylistic means of making this dream world come to life and visualize its subjectivity and ambiguity. With everything else that it has to say and share about that, even if you aren't entirely able to grasp everything going on at first, there's still bound to be something within this that might resonate with you. Dare I say, awaken something? And eh, never mind. Waking Life, Richard Linklater, 2001. Four and a half stars. Again, I recommend giving it a watch. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. 
I'm not sure I said everything I wanted to here. And again, I am still trying to save battery power. Maybe I should make a separate video note just in case. Well, for now, I do want to thank my subscribers for sticking around and watching my reviews. I may not have ever replied to any comments, but I did appreciate that no one ever complained about my opinions. Uh, except for 